Can you tell me a little bit about dynamic HDR, Adam? So we need to start first off by talking about what about how HDR works. Yes, we do. So when we are talking about HDR, uh, when the producers or the people that were actually uh, setting up the, the, the lighting scheme or the color and everything else of what the, the picture is supposed to look like for a single frame, they give it an HDR level, right? So the HDR is a per scene? Per frame. Per frame. And so you get an HDR signal for one single frame. It's so a static one... for the whole frame. Correct. Whether it's this pixel, that pixel, or that pixel, it's the same HDR light level. Right. So mm -hmm. as it goes from frame to frame, it may get new information, maybe the same information, but every single frame has that information transmitted across. For the whole frame. For the whole frame. Now, as we get into H, uh, um, dynamic. dynamic HDR, so DHDR, we are now getting into the ability for every single pixel to have its own HDR data. This is great because that means that when we go into the HDR movies that we are going to watch as this is coming out, that means that if you have a really light uh, scene with also really dark scene inside the same image, they now have the ability to have the really light side be very bright and the very dark side be very dark because it has all that HDR data for two different areas. Now, I don't think we're gonna see it at a per pixel level anytime soon because sure. it's the time to build that and yeah, production is gonna yeah. be high. But as you mentioned, dark and light scenes together, mm -hmm. they now have the ability to go in and they can darken this screen up yep. while keeping our shirts moderate and our faces bright where in the past they didn't. Right. They just had to treat it all as one static.